ammo's expensive, rifles are expensive, and so I hear all the time from you guys that you'd love to find a good combination that can be very versatile. And so today I want you to hear, I'll give my opinion, but it's just an opinion. And so I talked to a bunch of my friends in the industry at the Rock Chuck Olympics recently, and I asked them this question. We'll jump to Guy Miner. Guy, this is a, the type of question that can make a grown man cry. See, he's happy now, but he's about to cry. Uh-oh. Imagine the laws change and you can only have one gun, one bullet, and one cartridge to shoot for the rest of your life. What is it? 30-06. 30 out six, what, what rifle specifically? I'm gonna keep my good old Remington 700 and I've got a load in that with 165 grainers that I trust for pretty much anything. I'd take a hard look at those Barnes bullets, those TTSXs. Okay. I like, I like the way they shoot. So Guy's a very traditional hunter, 30 out six, Remington 700, and he's shooting those mono metal Barnes bullets. That's a great combo if you're a dedicated hunter. But up next, we're going to talk to Pete Milan from Impact Shooting, who adds in that he's also a competition shooter and a hunter. Okay, gun, we're going to go, I generally shoot custom guns, so whatever components are available at the time, beggars can't be choosers at this point in time. Cartridge-wise, 6.5 PRC without a shadow of a doubt. That's interesting. So I hear all the time people saying like, ah, I don't want a 6.5 PRC, it's just not that different from a Creedmoor. But this, that's your one and only, what makes you pick it? The big reason is because of the bullet. The 156 grain burgers that I shoot out of my 6.5 PRC hammer on long range steel. They're a great hunting bullet and they've got a phenomenal beast and they're extremely consistent. So that is why. And the 6.5 Creed... That's a 156 EOL, is that right? That's the one, yeah. Okay. The Creedmoor just doesn't have the gas to push that bullet at the speed it wants to be going. And it hits proper hard for hunting. And it's really a cartridge that I can do a lot with. I can shoot long range steel matches with it. I can hunt with it. I can do precision rifle matches and I can just have fun. Low recoil, high BC bullets. What's not to love about the 6.5 PRC? What about the people that would say that a 6.5 is just a little bit too small for elk or in your case, South Africa, kudu, the bigger animals, blue wildebeest? So I probably wouldn't shoot a buffalo with it, but shot placement, is more important than delivering energy on target. If you're putting that 156 where it needs to be, you know, I've shot Kudu with the 6.5 Creed with the 140 grain bullet, but shot placement is where it's at. So putting it where it needs to be is very important. And the 6.5 PRC is an inherently accurate cartridge. So I think it'll serve us very well. My answer in, in this part of the video. So if you were to ask my family, it, you know, it, I can only have one gun anymore in the safe. My family would revolt if I picked anything other than the Sig Cross in 6.5 Creedmoor. My kids have hunted a lot of animals with this, probably over 30 animals with the, with the Sig Cross. Um, it's just such a reliable gun. It feeds 100% of the time. It's easy to adjust the buttstock and everything here to make it fit anybody in the family. Being in 6.5 Creedmoor, it's great for them um, to, uh, to not have too much recoil. It has a short little barrel, and even with the suppressor, it's very manageable. This gun has just been a workhorse for us. But if I were to pick for me specifically, I don't think I'm quite there yet. I don't think I have my perfect rifle yet, but I'm working on it. So this is my custom 7PRC. Um, I love this gun in the Hunt 26 chassis from MDT. It's short in the 7PRC cartridge. You can hunt absolutely anything. You can shoot competition for long range. I mean, it just has, this is such a versatile gun, especially fitting it in a pack. You can just, you know, bend up the, the backstock and it fits anywhere you want. But I'm, struggling to get great accuracy out of this. And so I'm working on components and reloads trying to get there. So I don't know if I'm there yet, but that's what I'm working toward. But I'm a bolt action guy. Let's throw this now over to a world champion pistol shooter and see what he says. That's a, almost an impossible question to answer because there's so many different applications. Um, but let's imagine a scenario where you still want to conceal carry a pistol on your body, but you want a pistol that shoots extremely accurately and soft. Um, and the new steel frame canic is an option. Maybe not your best concealed carry pistol from a weight standpoint, 
but I would lean towards a nine millimeter just because you can't carry an AR-15 all the time, but you can carry a pistol. You could pick any pistol to be shooting. What are some things about that that you like for competition shooting? So the cool thing about the new Rival S is it incorporates all the modifications we did to the polymer frame Rival, but now with an all steel frame, we added an extra 12 and a half ounces of non-reciprocating mass to the pistol, which really helps absorb that recoil and just makes it shoot softer. Next up, we're talking to Gavin from Ultimate Reloader. Now, Gavin is obviously a reloader, and so I think he's a little bit more likely to pick a cartridge that's somewhat less common. Wow, <laughs> that's so hard. I have so many cartridges I'm enjoying right now, but I think from the sheer shooting enjoyment and versatility aspect, it's gotta be the six Dasher or the six GT. And I'm gonna say Dasher because I've got more experience with it. I haven't put enough loads through the test on the six GT, but it's so mild recoiling. I can still take a deer with it. I can take a rock chuck with it. I can shoot it past a thousand yards, easy to load, easy to tune. I'm picking the six GT or the six Dasher. Okay, so if somebody isn't a reloader, and is kind of newer to this, looking for something off the shelf, what kind of cartridges would you consider to be kind of similar to that? I've just built a six arc bolt gun. Okay. That is That's also, similar, yeah. it's, it's shooting a six millimeter 108, and it's just, we, you know, we, you got a hit at 1280 with it on Harold the Rock Chuck, right? That, I couldn't believe it. I, I had three out of three when I was doing my testing for the first three shots with that specific rifle. So that changed my tone, right? Okay, so that's your cartridge. What yep. about the rifle specifically? Can I go full custom? Yeah, absolutely, but tell us about it. Then it's my full custom. Bat okay. TR action. I'm gonna do a Bartline barrel, uh, one and seven and a half twist for the six arc bolt gun. Heavy profile. I like the heavy profile for the weight. I like it for the heat capacity and dissipation. Um, I, I like a heavy rifle in general. So it's gonna have something like a foundation Genesis 2 stock that McCarter really absorbs the recoil really well. And for the trigger, I like the light triggers a lot. So I'm gonna go with like a Remington 700 Diamond from Trigger Tech. And how about a bullet? Oh, if I had to pick one, it would be the Burger 105 Hybrid. That thing is a hammer out of the dasher. You can see me down here, but up there is my friend Adam from Hootie Who. Adam, one gun, one cartridge, one bullet the rest of your life. So, every time I do a live stream, it seems like somebody asks me that question. And I normally give them two. So I'm going to give you those two, but I, then I'm going to pick one. 338 Win Mag and 22 250 Remington. 338 Win Mag. I love that it. That surprises me. So you live in Tennessee where you know it's mostly yep. whitetail hunting. Yep. Most people would say not really necessary to bring down a whitetail. What makes you pick that? I bought the 338 Win Mag because it was on sale. <laughs> uh, that was that was why I got into 338 Win Mag. And I took a hog with it and I took a nice psycho deer with it. And then I kind of put it away. But then I got the 22 250. Absolutely love that thing. And I've got some loads. 50 grain Remington AccuTip Vs. It's a 50 grain bullet, 4,000 feet per second. That thing explodes. We've got some, those in my 22 250, very good groups. We took two whitetail with that last year. A lot of people, 22 250, yes, it will take whitetail. And those okay. 50 grainers, deer all the way down to whatever, coyote, and it's very accurate. 22 250 is fast and Pretty flat. So 338 Win Mag is second place, 22 to 50. Takes the cake. A 22 and a 338. I With love the, barman the variety. Boy. Cool. Yep. All right, so you got your cartridge. You got your cartridge. How about a rifle? I've only had one, and it's a CVA Cascade. And I, I love that thing. It's not super expensive, and it, and it shoots good. So you review as many rifles as I do, and I know you got everything out there. Yep. Uh, what makes you pick that one? It's affordable, and it shoots good. I mean, said. why spend more money if you found something that works? All right, now the bullet. 50 grain AccuTip V varmint bullet. 4,000 feet per second. Just don't shoot it at steel because it will burn a hole right through it. I might be off from other people, but in my world, it would be my Rimex 
and it would be 22 long rifle. So tell me about your world. Why do you pick that? Well, uh, because as much as I love F-Class and as much as I shoot F-Class, if it was for the rest of my life, 22 is something I can do until the day I die. And I don't hunt. Uh, you know, I don't do a lot of other shooting right now. And for me, the enjoyment that I get out of the relaxation of 22 helps me get through my competitions in, in other worlds. So for me, the 22 long rifle is just the, it's let the breath out, go out, have fun, don't worry about anything. I don't have to load. I, some people are gonna hear that and say, what, that's not a defensive round though, because that's their key to, to guns. Well, where, where do you come out on that? I always, I always laughingly say, if I was in The Walking Dead and I was the only person with a 22, at least I'd be able to carry 10,000 rounds in my backpack. That's a fun <laughs> point, that's a fun point. So, I, you know, if somebody doesn't think I can defend myself with a 22, I'd like to see him try. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I had 22 and the 22 is just fine. What's your favorite load? Uh, I'm a big fan of Center X and SK Long Range. Those are my two favorites. Okay, but no, no, no. You got one for the rest of your life. Uh, Center X. Center X. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Yeah.